How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. My name is David. I'm the owner of Hat Stitch, and today we are going to talk about how to properly focus your laser machine to be able to laser engrave without having to guess if your focus is right or if it's wrong. So today I'm gonna to show you that and I'm gonna show you two different ways to do it. The first way is gonna be with the ruler and the second way it's gonna be with the laser that's actually embedded into the actual machine. But before we get started, if you guys are not subscribed to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that share button, and also turn on that bell notification so you can continue to see videos like these. So without further ado, let's get started. So today we are gonna talk about how to properly focus your laser machine so you can actually engrave properly on the actual uh, item that you have here. So in this particular case, we actually have the name plates that are stainless steel. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place this right down in the middle. On my actual bed, I've already pre-done this to where it's already designed to where it just stays in place. So the first way that we're actually gonna do this is if you guys look closely, the team at House and Laser has already pre-configured your machine according to the lens. In my particular case, I have the 110 millimeter lens. And based on the calibration that they've already done, my focal length from the top of the item that I'm gonna be engraving to the line here is gonna be 287 centimeters. So how do you use that? How do you read that? It's simple. Real quick, the ruler that was provided to you when you first receive your machine is gonna be this particular ruler. So do not get confused. One side of the ruler is in inches and the other side of the ruler is in millimeters. So we're gonna stick to the millimeters. So what we're gonna do here, if you guys notice, the Houghton team actually calibrated this particular lens, which is a 110 millimeter lens and according to this particular lens, my focal length has to be 287 millimeters. So how do we measure 287 millimeters? Simple. The particular ruler that was given to us, it goes, if you notice, it starts with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So 10 actually means 100, 20 means 200, 30 means 300, 40 means 400, 50 means 500, 60 means 600. In this particular case, my focal length for this lens is gonna be 287. And the reason I know that is because the team has already calibrated this particular lens. And I'm gonna make sure that I find 287 on this actual ruler. So by doing so, I will have to go up and I am actually a little underneath and I am right at 287 right there. So I am about 200, exactly 287 millimeters focal length from the top of the item that I'm gonna be laser engraving to the line that was pre-calibrated by the team out at Houghton Lasers. So safety first, as we can see, the settings that I have assigned for this particular laser engraving is speed of 500, max power of 30, frequency of 40. I have a Q pulse of 200, the glow will pass of one, and then everything else here, I have my cross hatch turned off. So make sure you guys pause the video so you guys can actually see what the settings are for this particular engraving on the main plates. So as we all know, safety first. So make sure you guys put your safety goggles on because it's very important. You do not want to get blind. As you can see, once you have everything set up and calibrated and aligned properly, make sure that your settings are actually on the settings according to your lens. So in my particular case, I have the 110 millimeter lens and that's the lens uh, profile that I've chosen. So I hit frame so I can see that it's actually there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit hit start by using the foot pedal or you can hit start by hitting start on the actual computer itself.
So the second way that we can actually make sure that our focal is done properly is by pushing the button that's actually at the top of your laser head. So as you can see, when I turn off the button, the lights, the two dots do not come on. When I turn it on, the two dots are on. So what we wanna do next is we want to go up or down. In this particular case, we're going up. And as you can see, the dots now come together. When I go down, the dots are separating. When I go up, the dots are coming together. And we're gonna go on ahead and put our safety glasses on once again. And we're gonna hit start. And as you can see, it is properly laser engraving the second main stainless steel plate. And it looks amazing. All right, guys, so now that that is done, that is how you properly focus your laser engraving machine to be able to engrave on any item and that is through the ruler and that is through the button that's actually located at the top of your laser head if you guys have any questions make sure you put them in the comment section below and if you're not subscribed make sure you guys subscribe like this video and hit that bell notification to see future videos like this as always thank you very much and thank you guys so much for watching